Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Ty Dixon. We back at the 10 gallon reef. Got an update for y'all. I uh, got some messages from some subscribers asking about the tank, what's going on. I uh, haven't done a video in a while. So uh, here we go, we're gonna take off. As you can see, um, I did a new aquascape on the tank. Why? Um, really, I just got bored with the, with the old one and um, it seemed a little crowded. I wanted some more room for some uh, more frags if I decided to get some more. And so basically I just tore the whole tank down, uh, removed all the rock, took all my corals out. Only thing that was in there was the sand and the fish. And I just started to do a new scape. Um, basically just made a tall pillar right here where my torch sits on top. And um, it's actually loving that spot. As you can see, he's open. He's his tentacles are out he's really loving it and um that's that's like one little island there and then i made like a little cave right here um <clears throat> the toads toadstools are still over here in the right corner they're actually recovering doing very well because they were getting stung up really bad by the torch when it was down here in the sand bed um my zoles are still kind of recovering from you know the move around i guess you could say um, but I've seen that uh, the red ones are starting to open back up and um, my favorite ones in the middle, they're starting to open back up too. Uh, so I'm just going to give them a couple more days. They should all be open back up. Uh, my frog spawn is doing good. I basically put it like in the same spot it was last time. It always seemed to like that spot and it opened up that for you know, in a day or two. It was doing fine. Uh, green star polyps I got them off the sand bed and I put them on top of this rock I think they look really nice especially with the attendance on they look really nice right there um, this is all that's left from the huge dragon's breath that I had before um, I couldn't really get that stuff to glue down on any frag that I tried man I had it on a couple different frag plugs but every day that I came home it was flying all over the tank and I just so frustrated with it. I just threw out and threw out most of it. And this is all I have left. Um, but as you guys know, through my other videos, um, this stuff grows pretty quick. So uh, once it gets big again, um, you fill your file. I'm going to shoot you a piece, man. I remember you asking me for some. So uh, when it gets big, just remind me, bro. Um, here's my pulsing Zenia. They're doing fine. You know, it's hard to kill these guys, but they're they're doing great. Uh, here's my other zoanthids over here. I put them here for now. Uh, here's my rose bubble tip. He's got. He's in a new new spot. Um, he seems to be liking it a lot. I like it more too because I can see him a lot better than when he was um, on the right side of the tank. And uh, another thing you could tell from my tank is that um, I removed the blue background. I mean, obviously I took it off when I was cleaning my tank, but I never really had the urge to put it back. Um, I don't know if it's because my tank is so clean now. Um, I actually kind of like it without the blue background. Um, I'd like to know everybody else's opinion, but for right now, I'm going to leave the blue back, the blue background off. Um, the filter and the wires over there really don't bother me that much. Um, I actually like seeing it all the way through, um, you know, but you know, that's how it's going to stay for now. And this blue net here. Uh, we'll, we'll zoom in a little bit. You can see my blue neon goby. I had to catch him and imprison, imprison him in there. And if you're wondering why, my clownfish striper, if you can see behind his fin there, you see those white marks. Basically, my goby was, in my opinion, like eating him alive, man. You can see when he moves his flipper, you can see those scars. And I know that gobies, these neon gobies like they clean other fish of parasites that's just an instinct that they have and striper never had any uh parasites on him but i think he would just clean them to death and to the point where like he was like eating his skin off man and, and i could tell it was irritating him a lot so you know i got rid of him well i didn't get rid of him i put him in here and that's where he's gonna be until you know my clownfish can recover, you know what I mean? Because he was getting eaten up pretty badly. I want to know if anybody else had that problem with uh, neon gobies, if, like, they were, like, you know, basically just, like, annoying the shit out of, like, your other fish and maybe even eating holes in it. But that's definitely what was happening here, and I felt so bad for my clownfish that I had to catch the goby and take him up out of there. So that's what I did. 
and I'm just going to let him recover. Uh, my royal grandma's doing great. Nice, healthy, fat, thick, doing great. You know I mean? But, um, yeah, so that's the tank for right now. Just a quick update. Nothing too crazy. Let me know if you think what, what you think of the clear background and what you think of my Gobi and what I should do with them. Again, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope everybody's tank is doing good. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.